You can't make a video game without recycling a few assets, so say hello to the Asylum Demon's extended family of identical but distinctly cooler twin siblings. The Stray Demon and the Demon Fire Sage don't really change much about their predecessor in terms of design. They wield different weapons and one of them is on fire, but that's about it. Although I do think there's a little bit more to them than mere acid reuse. Between stalking around in the basement and patrolling the roof, the demons in the Asylum clearly aren't there by mere coincidence, and I think they're there for the same prophecy that everything else in Dark Souls revolves around. But where Gwyn and the gods are hoping for an undead to rise to reignite the of fire, I think the demons are there to kill any potential chosen undead before they can become a threat to the spread of chaos. The flame of chaos sprung from an attempt to recreate the first flame, but another age of fire could stifle it in its cradle before it becomes dominant. The fire sage, most powerful of their number then, is defending the demon ruins and the bed of chaos from the chosen undead who comes to claim the lord's soul within, a last line of defense when he realizes the assassination plot didn't work. Subscribe to this channel for shorts, or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.